this is a story that I tell my students to give them courage and patience. In 2012, we were casting my adaptation of A Room with a View that I wrote with Jeffrey Stock that was being produced at the Old Globe. And we were looking for our leading lady to play Lucy Honeychurch. And Elise Allen Lewis walked in and she was quirky and interesting and instantly fascinating to us. And she sang the paint off the walls in this, this voice that was really unique that I really love this, you know, like kind of a deep contralto that you don't hear that much nowadays. And then she made us laugh until our faces hurt. And then she cried real tears and was just absolutely heartbreaking. And she walked out and we're like, mm, not for us. <laughs> and it was so instructive to me to experience that. And I tell this to actors all the time because she did everything right. She couldn't have been better. She just didn't fit the puzzle. She just wasn't quite the right piece to fit into the existing paradigm that we had. I suppose in some ways like me, you know, that sort of like, we just don't know what to do with you. So, uh, I, years go by, she's in Amelie on Broadway. She's in the ensemble and she plays all these features and every single one of them is a showstopper. She's a total scene stealer. And I'm at the party afterwards and I, I come up to her and I say, hi, and I reintroduce myself. And I said, I just want to tell you what you did that day and, and how great you were and that I, I'm always on the lookout for something and I think about you. I you haven't I haven't forgotten you. It it was not for naught that that audition. You made such an impression on me. And watching you tonight just reminded me of how great you are. Um, and she said that she was really grateful to hear that. She said because so often as actors, you know, you walk out and you never hear anything again. Uh, so I really do try to whenever I can, if I catch an actor doing something right, I uh, I really try to let them know because I know how hard it is. And then finally, end of 2018, I get asked to do The Day Before Spring at the York and I'm handed this script and here is this part that was like written for Elise Allen Lewis. Like it was just like perfect. And I, it, was, it was one of those like straight to wardrobe, like just, you know, this is it. Uh, and, you know, I, I suppose, you know, in retrospect, it was a one week gig. It was, and it, as a result, like I said, it didn't, you know, the, the piece did not move on from there. Uh, and yet I still had that chance to be able to put her in something and, and get her to, uh, and get to see her be exactly what I thought she could be. And it ain't over yet. I mean, it's not, it's not over necessarily for that piece. You never know, it might come around just like this, just like she came around, you just never know, you know? And if it's not the day before spring, it'll be something else. I, uh, I would absolutely jump at the chance to, uh, to make something for her again, because I think she's, uh, she's so fantastic. So coming full circle, that was the show that you auditioned and we didn't cast you for whatever reason. I don't remember why, I guess you didn't fit the puzzle right so, right didn't fit the, uh, yeah, I, I do remember uh, i i auditioned with a learner and low song from from their movie mm -hmm. musical little prince i remember that was my audition song that i chose but but yeah i like i've always considered myself a a classical more classic musical theater mm -hmm. actor but I, i've done plenty mm -hmm. of contemporary as well but like you say i i know that i was happy with what i did that day and mm -hmm. it either fits or it doesn't. And 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 well, I, like I said, it and it might have just been that you were too tall. 
you know, I mean, or, you know, or oh, believe me, I, I've gotten that before. I've been too tall for many things. So I, I yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and it's like, oh, sorry, we already have, you know, a tall guy. And so, you know, or we need a short guy or whatever. I mean, it's just, yeah. it, it can be that, uh, it really can be that simple. Uh, so it's, uh, so you never know. Uh, that's uh, the, uh, this experience with the two of us might be the start of something great. You never know where where this will go uh, in in the years to in the years to come. Exactly, exactly. So perfect. I, that, that I do. Is, I, I love that story. I see why you tell it to uh, to your students. It's a it's it's a great reminder. It's like what we do in the room. I mean, obviously, we want to be prepared and and do our best and all that. But you know, a, a no is is often a not yet or not now as opposed to mm -hmm. you're, you're horrible, why are you in this business, which is where our minds can go. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's rarely that. When you get to a certain level, it is really that. Occasionally, there are a few people oh, that you're like, yeah, ooh, I bombed. Call, well, no, or that, or like, oh, somebody call security. Like, mm. occasionally, someone will walk in that you're like, ooh. Uh, yeah. But honestly, on the flip side, I, I have ca I cast... Uh, three out of 10 of the actors at Bastard Jones from the equity open call, hmm. uh, you know, cause I was looking for really unusual people. And uh, when we're back to in-person auditions uh, far more regularly, I would say any young actor who can get themselves hired as a reader should. Absolutely. Yeah. I've found you, a lot of benefit from it. Don't you, don't, ex because you see, and hear what actually goes on, mm -hmm. and and you realize, oh, it wasn't about me I'm at also, all. <laughs> I'm also seeing my fellow actors and what they do, and and the little tricks that they do, or the tricks they don't do, or and and, mm -hmm. and how they prepare or don't prepare. You see the very, and then you see how they're reacting to it behind the table. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, that's how they took that. And then there are people. I'm like, oh my gosh, what happened? And I turn to them and go, oh my gosh, we got to bring him back. It, you just never know. It's very subjective. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah. so subjective. Mm -hmm.